Hello everybody and welcome back to the Speakeasy Lounge and Reaction Diaries. I'm Jennifer and I am glad you guys are here. This is part two, number two to the music action, music action, music video challenge that I put out over the last couple of videos. I have been challenging you guys to come up with a popular song that I haven't heard of. And if I select that, if it's a song I haven't heard, um, or not familiar with and it's you know relatively popular I will do a reaction and I'll do a shout out to you guys and post it on the um, on the comments so today I am reacting to gosh it is um, uh, Russia's Xanadu and it is from gosh let me pull up the comment just real quick because Let's do this. Um, I want to make sure that I have the right name because I said I was going to do a shout out and I didn't do that. So let's let's find out real quick. How are you guys doing today? Yeah, I was trying to run a bunch of errands to run today, but I wanted to get this video done. And um, I have several lined up that I've already got. A, done that I'm waiting to they're set to premiere so make sure if you haven't already subscribed to the channel and hit the notification bell um, and uh, let me know uh, what you guys think so you're aware whenever I do new videos and uh, can make sure that you tune in I like doing the premieres I like setting up the premieres and um, that way it actually you can look forward to it at a certain time and it does a countdown and it also has a live chat on the side so I can um, chat with you guys during the video I've been talking about doing a live chat either prior to the re uh, watching the video or after and I wanted your opinion on that um, depending on the time of the day I suppose is what would make the most sense but probably looking somewhere between 4 and 8 p.m. Um, East, Eastern Standard Time um, let me know what you guys think about doing live chat whether it should be before the video airs or after I'm thinking after um, we can do an actual live uh, live face-to-face -face chat not face-to-face -face. you can see me and I can re I can read your um, your comments but uh, during the premiere, we can actually chat online while while the video is going airing. So anyway, okay, so it's just smashing. He is the one that um, requested this video, which is Rush's Xanadu, the live version. So um, yeah, anyway, that's what we're going to be reacting to. And I'm sorry, just smashing. I don't know your real name, but that's your the name um, your username so that's what we're going by thank you just smashing for offering that next challenge for Rush's Xanadu the live version I know Rush I know who they are my husband as I mentioned in a previous video which too is that's my husband's probably favorite band of all time so um, I may have heard it because I listened to his CD he gets control of the radio when he drives I get control of the radio or whenever I drive I try to drive more than him. I get stuck listening to Frank Zappa otherwise. But he has a playlist, and I hear a lot of Rush. So there's a good chance I've heard it and just don't recognize it. Um, but in either case, I didn't know it, and it was the next challenge that came up. So we're going to react to it today. Um, so please, throw a comment and let me know if you come up with a song. It doesn't have to be of any specific genre that you like. Um, but I'm tr we're trying to find songs that I haven't heard before, but that are popular. Um, from, you know, the 70s, 80s, 90s, up some 60s. I mean, if it was popular and got radio play, um, I know a lot, a lot of songs. And that's kind of the whole challenge, the whole reason for the challenge is to kind of turned me on to more stuff that was in the arena of stuff that I'd listened to that maybe I had missed uh, for one reason or another. And I was really happy with the last one I did, thanks to Daniel. Um, 
he suggested that I watch Deep Purple Child in Time, which I did, and that just released yesterday. So be sure that um, you check out the other reaction videos as well. It's very important to me and my channel, and I know that a lot of you are tuned in and subscribe because of the Angelina Jordan content, and I'm continuing to do that, but I really hope you will watch this other content too and, um, and stick with me on these to help me get the views that I need um, and the likes and the comments on those videos as well. I appreciate you very much and I'm not going anywhere as far as the AJ videos. I'm in it for uh, until I finish um, but I want to do other stuff too and hopefully you guys will get turned on to some of this other music and um, find new things. I have a real special treat also for another video I did um, late last night um, the girl's name I have to look at because I couldn't pronounce it it's uh, Diana I don't know if I'm going to pronounce this correctly but it's Anyukadanova she's Russian and it's from a talent show in Russia called You're So Special or something I may not have that exactly right but apparently it's about or for Russian orphans, a talent show for Russian orphans. I don't know, but this, uh, I did a, a reaction and just blown away. Blown away. If you guys love Angelina, I think you'll appreciate Diana too, if you are already, already familiar with her. She's not new, apparently. Uh, new to me, but not new. She's been around for a while. I think she's 15 years old as well. Um, so let's let's try these new things. Um, also, I don't know if you guys are familiar with Courtney Hadwin, but she um, also was a contestant in one of the, uh, I don't remember if it was America's Got Talent or The Voice or which show it was, but she is really amazing too. These young women, man, and the talent that they have, it's crazy. Um, and, you know, not saying one more or less special than the other because they all are so unique. But finding that talent, my goodness, at that age, you know, just thinking of how hard they're working. At that age, I was playing. I imagine you were too. We weren't hardcore thinking about our career and as a musician and social media platforms and marketing and whew, they have a lot of there's a lot of pros and a lot of cons to that I'm grateful that we didn't have social media when I was a teenager boy the way things are going now I'd have been banned for life <laughs> okay enough chit chat let's get to this video we are going to be watching Rush's live version of Xanadu Hold on, guys. Bear with me a second. I am going to, if my mic will let me, close these blinds. Maybe that, is that better? Yeah, there's a little bit of a glare. Okay, sorry about that. My cousin, she had a parakeet when I was a teenager, and she named him Getty Lee. <laughs> oh. I have to tell you the story, my rush story, too. I'll tell you after the video is over.
Look at that double neck. My husband would kill for a drum set like that. Twelve minutes. I didn't realize it was so long. I just want to pause real quick but they're both playing double neck guitars is one of those a bass and one a regular guitar or are they both regular i can't tell from here how many strings they have on them oh that looks like the bass not the one getty's playing the other one no maybe not Is it Gabby playing the face? Oh. Okay, I'm going to pause it again. Boy, look at that huge drum set. I thought there was only three in Rush. I thought I counted more than that. Um, uh, I forgot the other two guys' names. That sucks. I, my husband knows them all, of course. Uh, you know what, I re what reminds me of every time I hear a Rush song now? I don't know if some of you will, un will relate to this or not. Paul Rudd, the actor seems like every movie I've seen him in, like, like at least two or three of them, he plays a Rush fan. And they talk about Rush in the movies that he's in. The actor Paul Rudd. Look it up. Google it. Now I'm curious how many videos, I mean, how many movies he made there where he actually uh, talks about Rush or Rush is involved in some way, shape, or form. I don't know. I guess in real life he must be a huge Rush fan.
I don't know how. I'm just curious. It, it, not curious. But it, it does make you wonder how three people can put out such a huge sound. Like ZZ Top, for example. Another one of my favorite rock bands from the 80s, 90s. I think 70s too, but it would have been late 70s. If, if 70s. But just, you know, we, we talk about individual singers, right? And, and how they do it. But when... You, but they're singing and maybe they're playing an instrument, but they have someone else doing their backups or whatever, the other instruments or it's pre-recorded or whatever. But these guys, the musicians, it's like, you know, I have to have one person, you know, three people, a drummer, a guitarist, a vocalist, bass player, player I'm guessing, uh, to put out that kind of surround sound feel like you're you're listening to you know huge huge band it's crazy to me okay Damn. Great in the headphones. You know, I, I said I've listened to Rush a hundred times. I, I don't recognize this song, but it does. You can, you know, it really does make a huge difference with the headphones on. It makes a big difference. Those percussions come in, and it's just like magic. Does that sound right? Magic. Yeah, sounds right to me. It's just like this overwhelming sense of just like, yes, you know, that's the best way you can say it. Sounds silly. Okay. I love the synthesizer, too.
just pause it again real quick. Uh, gosh, I, those devil neck guitars kill me. Josh had one at one time. It look I know it looks like that one is one, but it's not. Um, I, that just blows me away. I can't play one neck guitar, much less two. <laughs> The talent it takes to do what these guys do. Drums would be fun. I, When I was in high school, I wanted to do drums, but they didn't have any place slips places, so I tried clarinet. Well, actually, I tried the French horn first. Huge mistake. Huge mistake. I carried that thing around for about a week, and I'm like, I don't want to do this anymore. Then I did the clarinet. I am not musically inclined, Okay. I can sing. I, I have a decent voice, a karaoke voice maybe, but I'm Florida good, Orlando, Florida good anyway. Uh, but, yeah, I can carry a tune. Um, but I can't play an instrument to save my life. Awesome, guys. You have me rocking out for sure. Definitely rocking out to that. Uh, thank you so much for uh, requesting that. And you got me. So I'm zero for two right now. Um, so make sure you guys send out some more um, challenges, music video challenges. Like I said, try to keep them pretty fairly mainstream and fairly popular, but... Uh, see if you can find something I haven't heard before and I'll give you guys a shout out and post it in the comments um, really quick because this video is way longer than I want them to be um, my rush story my uncle was uh, when I lived in Lakeland Florida uh, used to be best friends with the head of the security at Lakeland Civic Center so we got to go to several concerts and actually go backstage to quite a few um, we went to the Rush concert. I had totally forgot about it till I started listening to this. Um, again, like I said, there's a lot of memories that might come flooding back as I do these videos. But uh, we were we went backstage, and I saw who I thought was Getty, and I didn't want to like rush him because he was by himself. But I waited till you know he was just kind of standing there by himself doing something, and I went up to say hello. Turns out. Either I'm lied to or still to this day, Getty Lee has a twin brother. Correct me if I'm wrong, but he swore to it. Once I saw the uh, the pictures and, and he said that, that he had a twin brother. So unless he was just yanking my chain, Getty Lee has a twin brother. Okay, don't call me stupid. Because <laughs> I've gone over it in my head. I went over it in my head over and over again. Is he just telling me that because he wants me to leave him alone? But he swore up and down. And I'm like, no problem, no problem. The rest of the story, uh, my, uh, my uncle uh, was talking with one of the band guys or something. And we were able to get on the bus. So me and my uncle, they're like, well, wait right here. We'll be back. So it's just me and my uncle sitting in one of the seats on the on the buses. And under the seat in front of us was like this box and it had uh, sandwiches wrapped in aluminum foil. And they each had different labels on them like turkey and Swiss, H&C, ham and cheese, um, some special ones, I don't know, like some were specialized club sandwich with light mayo, blah, 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 different things like that. So we're sitting there, and I'm looking at him. He picks up the box, and we're, like, looking through the sandwiches, right? 
and my uncle uh, grabs one and says PB and J. We were pretty probably stoned. I don't know what, but he took it. He took it home, and neither one of us thought anything else. We thought it was something exotic. Didn't even think about it. And we got home, and he called me later, and he told me, he says, it was peanut butter and jelly. <laughs> I guess you had to be there because it was after. It was just hysterically funny. It was so funny because we thought we were getting some really, you know, fancy sandwich, and it turned out to be peanut butter and jelly. Anyway, silly, silly. But the good memories, good memories I have. And uh, you guys are helping me relive them, so thank you for that. All right, I'm going to cut this short. Well, not short. I'm going to cut it off now, though. Um, so please keep those music video challenges coming, and I will see you guys very, very soon. Thanks for tuning in. Please be sure to subscribe, like, leave a comment, and hit the notification button. Thank you guys so much. Bye.